On Reddit, uh, an individual called Alchemy Phonics said the following. This is just a quote from a larger piece, link in the low bar. The only sliver of an appropriate platform this woman leaves men is the path of self-flagellation, self-hatred, and acceptance that every single male on the planet is a sexist asshole who automatically had everything handed to him on the day he was born. In reply, I said, yep, but here's the thing. You don't have to believe it. In fact, if feminists were right about men, men wouldn't care about oppression of women. So prove them right. It's what they want more than anything. Now here's what, here's what this, this situation is actually doing. Because men don't have a positive group identity based on the fact that they're men, groups of people, could, and this, this has occurred with any group of people who, who experiences that, from the untouchables of India to the Janissaries of the Ottoman Empire to any slave class in history. These group of people do not share a positive identity with other people in their group. Slaves hate other slaves. Janissaries probably hated other Janissaries, and untouchables most likely hate each other. And men are sort of in the same position. They do not have a positive identity. So a man who is a decent bloke won't look at feminist rhetoric and think to himself, you know what, I'm a very decent person. So other men are likely to be decent people as well. Uh, therefore, I reject your attempt at maligning my group, my, the group that I belong in. I reject it outright and ignore you and subsequently ignore you. Because men don't have that natural immune response to aggressive rhetoric directed at the group they belong to, feminists can manipulate them in that way. Which is actually proof of the exact opposite of what feminist theory asserts. That men have some sort of simpatico in which they put themselves ahead of women. Anyway, prove feminists right. Men really don't care about the oppression of women and ignore them.